If you are in a recline, your organs will suffer enormously. You can stay in this posture much longer than any other posture. This is the most comfortable thing you can do. Your ability to use your body and your mind goes into a phenomenal scale. Now, in your body, there is something called as skeletal comfort, muscular comfort, organ comfort, and energy comfort. Now, if you simply sit on a reclining chair, your muscles will be comfortable. But you will see, if you sit in a reclining chair, always your joints will struggle. Have you noticed this? You do one thing, you travel in a car with a reclining seat like this, you will see, you will be so exhausted by the time you get there. If you simply sit up, it won't happen to you, because only your muscles are relaxed. You feel like stretching out only when your muscles are tired, in reality. But your bones don't like it. Your bones like complete stretch out, but it doesn't like this half because too much stress on the skeletal system. Above all, your organs don't like it at all. All the vital organs in this region are not fixed with clamps and bolts or flanges. They're just hanging in nets like this. Yes? If you do this, your liver shakes. Yes or no? Yes or no? Even your heart is loosely fixed with all kinds of trapezes. It's fixed like this. Now, if you are in a recline, especially if there is movement, your organs will suffer enormously, understand? If there is movement, you must always sit like this, straight, then your organs are in better level of comfort. You sit in a posture which is most comfortable for you, preferably cross-legged, because that's the way it works, the body. It is a posture where the body will be in maximum contact with the floor. So which naturally, in terms of weight per square centimeter, square inch is minimal. So your ability to sit is better because weight is not just on your buttocks, it's spread across. Because of that, you feel much easier sitting that way. The idea of sitting cross like this, if you prepare your body well, this is the most comfortable thing you can do, actually. You can stay in this posture much longer than any other posture that you know of, simply because maximum amount of contact is there. That means your weight is distributed, because of that you can sit well. The science of yoga not only has powerful tools for one's ultimate well-being, it also offers useful tools for one's immediate well-being, healing and relief. These tools can be termed as Upayoga, Sadilaja. One part of Upayoga is called Sadilaja. Sadilaja means born out of looseness, loosening not only the muscles and the skeletal system, it is also about loosening the energy system. This helps to prepare and stimulate your system. Directional movement is a simple way of doing this. It also exercises the muscles without any risk of injury. Joints have a concentration of energy nodules, so by activating them, everything in the system gets ignited for action. These three ingredients, your breath, your thought and your awareness, in the right combination if you use them, you will see slowly a little bit of distance arises between you and your body. If you and your body-mind combination stand away from each other, then suddenly you will find your ability to use your body and your mind goes into a phenomenal scale. If right now, if you have to count from one to ten, 
right, the highest is ten, if that is so, if you're attached or if you're involved with this body, you're less than one, that's where it is. If these two things come apart, suddenly you can rev it up all the way to ten. Your ability to use the mind and the body is so greatly enhanced that you almost look superhuman for somebody else. But I'm telling you, this is human, this is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing being human is super. Yes, not a simple thing to be human.